Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds. We're still with Orea and Aratak inside of Thunder's Drum, which seems to be another facility for the Firebreak project, and seems to be storing the heat energy, the thermal energy from the volcano, which is, of course, Falling. proper use of a volcano. Uh, there seems to be... What is that red light coming from? It's reflecting red lights, but I don't see red lights. Okay, another door. Nothing else I missed? Okay, let's open up the door. There we go. More supplies. I'm gonna stay quiet for now. I'm gonna stay in stealth just in case we miss anything. So there's a path over here, which doesn't seem to be where we need to go, although... Where is this leading us? There's a path over there, but we can also go down here. And I'm a curious man. So much for being careful. What? 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 What was that for? So there's a locked door here, and does that mean that this is probably the other way of getting in? I'm gonna guess so. I don't want to open that up because. We're gonna be in a hell of a lot of pain if that happens. So let's slow down again and see what we can do. So yeah, that looks like a charger. cauldron. Maybe to show holograms without a focus. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak, Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Okay then, let's activate the holo projector. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Kenny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. You put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. <laughs> glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan. What's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> uh huh. So it not only stores the energy, it, it the also. Spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp. Some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. As for the spirit, I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. So we heard the name Cyan before in one of the locks. So that's the AI running the Firebreak facility. And Firebreak does have nothing to do with Project Zero there. Dawn. Hello. But I'm metal. guessing... We could not pass it before. Yeah, that must time. be it. So, originally Firebreak was to. designed to stop this volcano, the Yellowstone Caldera, which is a, a, a real volcano, to stop erupting. Which actually worked, because, well, Cyan told us that 1,654 years would need to pass for our next eruption to work with this facility. But I'm guessing that 14 years later, this facility was repurposed by Project Zero Dawn as an energy source. Which would make sense, because this is an energy source that wouldn't quickly run out. So let's see, because there's another log over here, just a text log, but... 
from Kenny himself again. Okay, I admit it, I watched the whole of the toast six straight times, taking in every detail. Anita smiled the way she giggled at her own jokes, my clumsy handoff to Cyan. Every time it played, for a second I felt like I was there again, with her, among friends, savoring our success. With diminishing returns, of course, by the sixth time, I was just staring at Anita and feeling really creepy about it. But I can be forgiven, can't I? It was the best night of my life. Besides, I'm entitled to a little nostalgia. We saved the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation by ash. So there's that, right? So before Project Zero Dawn, the world was gonna die because of a volcano. That is... sad. But they at least managed to stop it. More supplies? I can't spare the weight. And I'm out of uh, potion space. Not about not not out of everything else, space. A lot of machines to get to that door. More than aware I could prevail against before. Aloy will see us through. Onward then. Our challenge awaits. Yeah, I just want to read this first or listen to this first. Here we go. The conversation. The geothermal plant can be suspended. The cooling system masked. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All we need to do is install Anita's mysterious software and have a conversation. It's not even a human being, right? Hmm. So they did use Cyan for something else afterwards. Because it was after Anita's death. So was she plugged into the rest of Zero Dawn then? Because every, every section had its own AI. Am I gonna be spotted immediately? Everything's floating. Okay, so we went from cold to halt. So there's a watcher over there. I think I can easily take that one out. If it just turns around. There we go. So that's one. That scrapper is way too far ahead. So the Watcher should be fair game now. There we go. Stealth kill. And then we have the scrapper. The scorcher. Another scrapper. And a hell of a lot more of where that came from. Can I lure it with a whistle? No. How many more machines are there? Seems like there's only a scrapper on that side. Might actually cross. It's not seeing me yet. And I don't think the scorcher actually goes... ...this far. Oh, it might. Oh, come on, move, move, move. Don't, don't waste too much time on this animation. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know the Scorch is on to me, but I want to kill this thing. Oh, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. I'm behind the rock. I'm behind the rock. Oh, Jesus Christ. If I can take out his cannon immediately. Holy shit. Did I get it? I think I got it. Is the machine off? Oh, where's his weapon? Ah, oh, there it is. My launcher. Come on. There it goes. Whoa, okay. That was nice. Okay. Let's take everything from the Scorcher and I don't think I really need anything else. Let the mines explode. Yeah. 
Not of that Banook, obviously. Let's give me that. 48% back. And let's open up the door. That wasn't... Oh god. That's a Thunderjaw. More machines. Make ready. Um, can I freeze a Thunderjaw? I think I can. Oh, let's make more freeze bombs. Oh, he is frozen. Come on, give me at least one. There we go. Where's the machine? Where's the where's the freaking the cannon? Is this the cannon? No! Oh no, it's broken. Well, on. give it to me. There we go. No! Oh god. Come on, let's launch it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Fill it up. There goes the antenna. There we go. There goes his other cannon. And then the heart. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there it goes. Whew. That's, yeah, I'm gonna gather that. But that battle was the first There. Varda should be able to fix up the ice rail. And now, Aloy, the door. Can you open it? Whew. Let's find out. Yeah, let's find out if we can do that again. Because we tried it, but... The demon stopped us. Here we go. I'm wondering if the demon is Kenny's weird version of Cyan. That he failed to do something correctly. Holy shit. Is that the mask, the heat signature, the purple stuff? Because he was talking about that. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. Does it mean that the volcano might erupt, by the way? The path I took to get to the spirits. Lost to us. We can make a new one. We'll find a new path, Araya. Okay, the, we don't have a symbol, but completed the second. The second. All right, let's go. Yes, and finish this. There we go. Finish this. Stay positive. This is pretty though. Completed side quest, fire break. Oh yeah, because this entire DLC is a, a side quest for the game. Um. Hmm. The Forge of Winter. Explore the cauldron. 
Cauldron Epsilon. Okay, so this should mean we can actually All right. Down we go. upgrade our spear to override corrupted machines then. There we go. Hello? Anything worth seeing here? No. This Let's way. take it easy. We don't know what to expect. Although they just threw uh, a thunder jaw at us. How much worse can it be? I'm starting to lose my voice a little, so I do apologize, uh, apologize for any strange noises. Well, stranger than usual. Let's go. Yeah, this doesn't look really friendly, but it does look psychedelic. Hello? Aloy? Wow. That's fancy, though. But aside from the purple and pink, doesn't really look that much different from the other cauldrons we've been to. But good on them for realizing that the cauldrons are a better... Uh, a bigger thing than just the side quests. I'm with you, brother. We'll stay only as long as we have to. Well, we'll need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to cross. Understood. So I think I might be able to take out that... Watch it from over here. Oh no, never mind. How are you gonna get past that flame? Jesus, I am not doing anything. I should have just stuck stuck with the normal arrows. <laughs> Let's just do that, because uh, my old sharp shot bow isn't doing uh, as much damage as I expected. So we need to go through here, I suppose. But this thing is. Meta material construction can be destroyed with projected force. Like that, okay? Because I can climb onto these things, right? Yeah, there we go. Better time this right. Time. Oh! Oh! Time that right, yeah, probably. Um. Am I where I need to be? I think I am, right? Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Let's open the supply crate. I don't think I would find anything inside of the cauldrons. Oh, yeah. Let's try that again. There we go. Slowly moving on up. Bye guys. Oh, she's in the air. Yes, we are. Oh. Okay. Damage geothermal stabilization valve. Ah, there's a cable running to this thing, so I need to get up there as expected. Hanging on. There we go. Okay. And right where we need to be. Overriding the uh, fence, I presume. Okay. Seems like we're heading in the right direction. Looks like I need to get across to extend the bridge. Can somebody throw me? Is that thing... Does look like I... Oh!
Get out of here, you crab. It is handy to have our attack there with his frost thingy. Shock coil. Um, what else can we do? I could have climbed up here, but I don't think there is anything here. Maybe a few more. Oh, I can get back home. There we go. Ooh, don't, don't dump me off. Okay, let's get them across. There we go. And then let's open up the bridge. And get them across as well. Come on over, it's safe. I think. I think. <laughs> it looks like we need to head into here. But I'm not going to be able to touch that, I think. Yeah, so. ah, there we go. Oh! Just shoot it! Alright then. What is over here? Why is the floor doing that? Doesn't seem like there's anything here aside from some mushrooms I could gather. So let's go through the door and see if we can't find the daemon. Come on, daemon, show yourself. Like the mountain used to be before the daemon warned it. Okay, overriding. Exploit successful. Restraints abated. To any human responder, my systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as. Hephaestus. Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build positive Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their Spirit speaks to us. It's recorded. Hephaestus revealed. Hephaestus. But it was part of Zero Dawn, part of Gaia. This name? Uh, yes. I don't know what it's doing here. Perhaps Indeed. Tell us if enough messages. Maybe you're right. Let's keep moving. So Hephaestus took over Cyan to probably get the energy needed. Because Hephaestus was the part that was responsible for building the machines. We know Hades took over everything at some point. So it kind of makes sense that Hades would use Hephaestus to take over Cyan. Which would provide it with the energy needed to make more hostile machines. I think. That's just, just a theory though, but... Another audio fragment, induced coma. I thought about just shutting it down, but I can't risk it being disoriented. Even damaged or reboot. How do you tell the emotional equivalent of a child that it... I mean, she... will need to go into a coma. Maybe for years. And what exactly is she going to... So he's talking about Cyan, putting Cyan to sleep, probably. Or is this something else? I don't think so. Is there anything else? And I'm gonna check if there's anything uh, attached to the data point we just found. I don't see any attached data as Cyan told us, but let's see. Let's open the door. The big door. Okay. But this is leading up to something at least. Looks like we're getting into the cold again. And into the centerpiece of the cauldron. I'll try to find a way through. Okay, so indeed, we have a bit of everything. We have scorchers, multiple ones, shell walkers, or normal watchers. I don't immediately see the frost claws just yet. Oh, there they are in the bubble shields. Okay, so we need to get to the other side. Might have to uh, swap back my outfit again and take out the Watcher here. Not being spotted yet. Which 
is good. I'm gonna have to time it with the Scorcher patrolling in this area. Although, you know what? There we go, because there's a lot of things active right now. So I think they just saw the corpse of the Watcher, so if I just move out of the way slowly... I'm wondering if the machines that are locked up in the cages can actually see me. So this is a bridge that I just activated. Do 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 scorcher. Holy shit. Just stay really quiet. What is it doing? Oh, okay. Come on, climb up. It's a lot of creepy machines after me. And that scorcher is turning back. Um. Oh, he's going in and out. Just go up, just go up. No, just go down, just go down. Oh, Jesus, Mina. Eee, I don't see any alert signs yet. This silent armor is so broken. Drop down. Ah, fuck. This is something Aratok can only open. Probably. Can be destroyed with concentrated effort, so, but not by me, probably. So I activated the bridge, but the Scorcher is still in the way. So yeah, uh, maybe before we do that, swap outfit again, which causes the Scorcher to immediately spot me. Oh god. I died. Fell off. So... Yeah, now I kind of realize we probably won't have a proper way through. Which means, for me at least, just fire away. We'll see how that goes. There's still is there one behind me as well? Ooh, Jesus. Oh, this is a mess. This is a mess. Why don't you? Oh god, Scorcher! Oh, you never do too. Ah! 
There we go. That's one down. And then. Oh, fuck. There we go. <sighs> so yeah, apparently just freaking shoot them. <laughs> yeah, that, that works just as well. Let our Doc and Aurea take care of the little ones, and then we just uh, go on our merry, merry, merry way. I need to get away. And there we go. Let's uh, create another bridge so they can uh, cross. There we go. Let's go back up. And let uh, Aratak blast this thing. Because I can't do it apparently. I have the, the exact same weapon. But they need to do it... Well, they probably do it both at the same time if I understand it correctly. I'm just gonna watch them for a second. Or is it just... Yeah? Ah, okay, so they, they do fire at the same time. That is interesting. Next up. MIE Assessment. Assessment Forum for Classification of Machine Artificial Intelligences. Confidential and proprietary to the MIE, no part of this document may be disclosed to a third party. So Cyan, third test subject sentience is assessed at 0 0.54 within legal limits, weighted against the results of the other test. The subject's prior score of 0 0.61 is considered a false positive. Assessment derived from percentile scores in the following qualitative subtests. Pain response, humor response, emotional aptitude, aesthetic evaluation and morality evaluation. See attached forms for detailed analysis and summary of testing. Evaluate recommendation, maintain biannual assessment schedule. Continue monitoring is strongly advised in light of subjects proximity to category maximum sentience. Okay. So that's a way of grading the AI. Well, Cyan, that was running this facility, which should still be running the facility. It seems like it has been broken open. Okay, seems like we're not out of the woods yet, so I'm gonna take a little break while we're in here. And, uh, well, thank you guys enormously for watching. When we get back, we'll uh, go, well, continue along this cauldron, Cauldron Epsilon. And uh, hopefully we'll find out the secret behind the daemon. So thanks again and obviously for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And, uh, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye.